Welcome. Welcome to the Man Cave, everybody. My name's Darth Quag to my right. Ravna Swalingo. And to my left is nobody this nobody. time. Uh, nobody this uh, time. Uh, Bummer sad, sauce. Sad face. <laughs> well, sad face because, well, one, Mongo is practicing with his bands. Uh, he's got a pretty busy schedule coming up. So if we can get him, awesome. If not, we totally understand. He just doesn't like us very much. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. He'll fit us in, you know, his busy schedule. He's a celebrity. Yep, so. yep. But if we can't get Mongo, normally we try to get somebody else, but this time no one likes us. Exactly. We're so that's hated. fine. I guess fame <laughs> just isn't that important to people. You know, <laughs> the, it was, it's harder to fall from the top you yes. know, than it is, you know, maybe two ladders up. Yep. So. But anyway, we love you, Mongo. Have fun with your practice, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, and uh, what are we drinking tonight? We are drinking. We're a little bit fruity tonight. Yes, you Not are. Not in a gay way. <laughs> no homo. No homo. But well, I totally love you. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Bro love. Uh, we are drinking for our alcohol of the night. It's going to be absolute peach. Or a peach. Which he is absolutely a peach. <laughs> absolute a peach. <laughs> and the beer we're drinking, and the beer, beer we're drinking is Shock Top, one of my favorites. I love Shock Top. I like Shock Top. I like the Belgian white. It was on tap and I would drink it a lot because it's just a full beer. I mean, it's just good. Now, this is a seasonal thing. I don't know okay. how long it's going to be. It's not like a permanent fixture yet. They, I know so far they have the Shock Top regular, the Shock they have Top. The wheat. The, the wheat, Belgian white. Then they have the Belgian white, right? Uh, or is that the same thing, or am I just an idiot? Yeah, uh, you know what? I think it's just a wheat beer, and then it's just Belgian yeah. white is the... Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> they have we'll raspberry. They have a raspberry one, which is pretty good. The pumpkin one, I stick. I stay away from anything pumpkin flavored around the uh, holidays, because I get enough pumpkin pie. I don't need my beer to taste like pumpkin, right? <laughs> um, <coughs> don't they have... <coughs> Excuse me for the. Uh, oh, as a matter of fact, yes, they do. Yeah, <laughs> don't they have to? <coughs> uh, German. Is it? Is it? What is this honey? Uh, you see it some with these micro brewers. It's it's like a bee or uh, uh, orange blossom. Not orange blossom, well, no, but uh, honey no, beer. There's an actual something. orange blossom uh, beer out there. Okay. It's it's actually made in in I think the Orlando. I don't know where exactly. But oh, it's this a truck honey was set sweet. up with taps yeah. on the side. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> no, but anyway, the one we're having tonight is Shock Top. Uh, what is it? Honey Crisp ass- Asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious. Honey Crisp Asshole. Delish. It's the shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Shock Top Honey Crisp. Honey Crisp Apple Wheat. Wheat? Apple Wheat. Um, the, uh, Wheat's in everything. Everything. The guy we've had on the show, uh, Black Top, uh, he's described it as, he's had it before. He said, it's like cider with a kick in the balls. It it tastes like okay. a beer when you drink it, but all the aftertaste is like you had a nice cup of apple juice. Just saying. Just saying. Oh, you know what? In fact, I haven't even opened mine, and I guess I will open a <laughs> name drop. My Ravenous Flamingo bottle opener. That's right. It's uh, Actually, I purchased it because when I was working at the bar, uh, they did not supply... Bottle openers. Now they had bottle openers that you know were on the wall. Yeah, you, they were hidden behind trash cans and this that, and the other. They, they were just impractical, and the ones they had were, you know, crap. Yeah, they, it was just the like hell. It was like my great product placement. This actually is worn off. You know, the little beer openers yeah. from your keychain, which is actually supplied by Enterprise. Oh, yeah, you know, promotion, right? We're going to give you a bottle opener to drive our rental cars. <laughs> Please drink and drive responsibly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll pick you up. <laughs> but uh, I went online. Um, this is uh, barproducts.com. And for, I think it was 14 or $15 with shipping, you can get a custom bottle opener with whatever design, whatever... This one happens to be uh, um, diamond plate, diamond plate metal. Exactly, yep. I thought it was pretty manly, <laughs> and oh, of course yeah. it has my call tag on the front of it because I figure you know if it's gonna be mine, it's gonna be mine. There you go. Um, but I mean, it comes, you know, just sorry, <laughs> you know, oh, exactly. Hey. Oh my god, oh you, my, you, you wish you were that cool, but uh, yeah, 
It, yeah. This design is actually very nice. It has a... Uh, I have my own custom bar. bottle opener. <laughs> Mine is my hands. Yeah. I just open it and pour it. Yeah, and who, who, what man does that? <laughs> uh, every American man? American man? American? <sighs> and, of course, we are drinking these out of the traditional... Well, these work. are the Sam Adams glasses I actually got... Kind of hooked up because they do not sell these to the public. Now switch it around. Oh yeah, the, but you can only pour out a certain amount, and then you have to. If the, you leave about a quarter it. of the, uh, a and quarter actually, of the glass left or the bottle. Here. Oh, here we go. This is how. See how it's nice and if it's zo- frothy, frothy right there, and then all the little bits and pieces, which are the delicious apple. Chris. You ass. You're getting <laughs> beer on my floor. I drink three straight. Alcohol abuse. Sue anyway. Me. anyway. Sue me. Um, but no, I recommend this beer highly. I love this beer. It's not heavy like a like a lager, and it's definitely... it's it's It smells like apples. It's perfect for the season. And obviously, it's a seasonal thing, but... Um, Which is kind of funny. You think apples would be more of a... That's what they have pumpkin for. (laughs) Perfect. For the harvest season. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. It's like Boston, you know, summer, spring ale and summer. No, but anyway, about the glasses, that was was the point. Yes. The glasses, it's a Sam Adams glass, um, has all these little, I wouldn't say ridges, it's more of a wavy kind of a glass. Micro indents and, uh, what is it, I forgot the, uh... What's the word? It's an actual technical term. It's uh, bubbles. Yes, bubbles. That's the technical term. <laughs> uh, they talk about it with uh, Mentos and Diet Coke. It, uh, oxi- oxidation points or something like that. Uh, we'll be corrected on this, I'm sure. For sure. But, but anyway, anyway, um, there's all these little ridges in it. The little ridges actually aerate the beer. Uh, brings out more of the aroma of the beer. Sounds like we're wine tasting, but yeah. we're not. Pinky out. Pinky out. And make sure you sip and spit if you're wine tasting, right? Anyway. anyway. <laughs> or um, by the third try, you're going to go, man, everything just tastes great. No, but it, it literally will bubble the entire time it's in the glass, which is really crazy, and it's really, really good. Well, that's what Sam Adams was. Is that it's more of a aroma beer yeah. than just... It, it, a lot of beer companies just focus on flavor, flavor, flavor. This is more of like a highbrow, higher quality beer, yep. so you get the whole aroma of the hops and stuff. So. You only find these glasses either at Samuel Adams. I don't know where you find them. I'm not even lie. <laughs> online. I'm sure Just they're online. It. I'm somewhere. sure you find it. But anyway, anyway. And with that, oh man, we'll go ahead. <laughs> we gotta start <laughs> the show. Start. I've been drinking my beer. My hello, fault. eBay. <laughs> See? Right as... <laughs> good catch. Yeah, uh, hands. Anyway, uh, we've been gone for a little bit. We're trying to space out these shows. About every two weeks, we're trying to release a new one. Figure exactly. I don't want to over oversaturate with you guys. And that gives you guys time enough to watch it, because I know you guys have busy schedules. and It gives us time enough to think about what we want to talk about next without yeah. getting every subject <laughs> out of the way. Uh, anyway, what did you do this weekend? This weekend, I did the home ownership thing, and uh, my lawnmower was kind of on the fritz. Yeah, a homo. Oh. You're living in a damn home. You, you <laughs> 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 but uh, I had to buy a new lawnmower. I bought a John Deere. Oh. High brow, right? You know, actually, there was it only depends 20. Depends on where you live if that's high brow. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> But uh, actually, I'm going to be teaching my uh, 11-year-old how to mow the lawn, so I needed to get a new one that he could start. There you go. (laughs) That'll work out great in your favor. Oh, absolutely. (laughs) Plan this ahead. There you go. (laughs) Get the five-year-old to start weed whacking, and we're good. Hire my own lawn maintenance crew. (laughs) It's the children. (laughs) Anything else? Anything else? Um, I don't think so. I mean, I've... Tried to play a little bit of games this weekend, which I'm trying to post for you guys to let you know I'm doing it. Um, keep you guys updated on that. But uh, it's, it's been a pretty desolate, desolate weekend. Nothing, nothing interesting. Yeah, I'm boring. Sorry. I've had fun. <laughs> you, okay. 
I've done Thanks. some fun stuff. Now, I have <laughs> any day now, any moment now, uh, for those of you who don't know and are new to the show, I have a fiancé who is at the breaking point with the pregnancy. She yeah. is ready to pop uh, any moment. Any mo- This show might even stop. If yeah, actually we, no, we would finish the show <laughs> and then go to the hospital to make sure she'd be fine. No, um, she's ready to pop. But anyway, it was me and her going out and doing a lot of fun stuff. Uh, the first thing we did, uh, GI Joe Retaliation, the new GI Joe movie out. Yes, I know a lot of people do not do not like the GI Joe movie. They the original the first one the first one they well, hated it. Well, that's because it was they considered it hokey and all this. But, well, yeah, yeah. But that was what GI Joe. You're you know? you're not going to see a hover tank in your lifetime. <laughs> but in the 80s and the 90s on the cartoons, that's what you saw, and that's what it was. And that was the fantasy to me as a kid was, oh my god, look at look at this. So it was so funny. They had the best technology in the world, but they couldn't shoot anybody. They could never land a bullet. Yeah. And it was always like, oh, we're so close. Oh, no. Bing, bing, doo, doo, doo. But anyway, um, waste, back to the movie. Waste about 20 cases of ammo just trying to hit them once. And it would just be rocks and trash cans. Yeah. And it would never <laughs> hit anybody. But anyway, no, the, the first movie, I liked it. I really liked it a lot. Um, it wasn't like Blockbuster. It wasn't well, like it was the big, bad everyone. everyone. And, you know, you have to get the backstory. Yeah. And that's what it was. And it was really cool. I liked it. Um now the second one, I really liked it. Um, I would honestly Who's put it on the part. Rock. You have the Rock the, and the, 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 the original characters. Duke's in it. No, well, are you gonna go see it? Probably, but I'll have to go with somebody. But let me spoil something real quick. Go ahead. Spoiler alert! Just go ahead and announce it now. Spoiler! 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 Right here! Like right here! I want to see spoiler. Can you do that? Oh, for the love of God! Just, just once. Just spoiler. Just spoiler. 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 Yeah, I'm, you know I'm not going to do that right I know now. You're gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make it flash like you want. But anyway, spoiler alert, Duke, within the first 30 minutes of the movie, dies. He actually gets blown the fuck up. Like, really. And it's not, it's, you don't really know if he's Duke down. was the, uh, the main character in the first Channing movie. Tatum, right? Channing Tatum, the guy from so. Magic Mike, and the big kind of muscular guy. Magic Mike. I've never. I, the only I've only heard references to that movie, and I think it was stupid. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> um, no, uh, he was in it for a bit. He was the guy from the first one, the one that you know, the blonde haired guy, uh, military. He looked like he was in the military, anyway. But um, he actually dies quite early in this movie. Um, pretty much to set it up as The Rock's taking over. That's why they did that. Okay. Um, him and The Rock were actually best friends. Uh, and The Rock, huge. They fucking... Bulk, they bulk up? Mountain of... He doesn't have to. He's just bulk. That's just what he is. Is it like that Terry, uh... Terry Owens, I think it is? Terry, uh... Oh, no, 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 no. You know no, what I'm talking I know about. Talking the Old about. Spice commercial. The, the Rock is bigger than him. The Rock would eat him for lunch. The The Rock's just massive. I mean, the guy <laughs> has muscles on muscle. And he's his just, muscles oh, on his eyeballs. It's ridiculous. Uh, but anyway, good movie, good action scenes, good everything. Uh, I recommend it. Um, Cassie loved it from the whole female aspect. She loved the movie. Because um, of The Rock. And what I liked about it was they didn't... When these people were dying... They didn't, like, zoom in and show the blood and guts and everything. They kept it kind of nice. Like, you knew he died because of the big explosion where he just was. But they didn't show, like, a body just, like, flapping and body parts. So it was like a Disney movie. But you knew what happened. Yeah. You knew knew Bambi's mom died, but it didn't show, like... Just like in the movie, they would (laughs) shoot somebody. You wouldn't wouldn't see bullet holes and you wouldn't see blood splatter. Exactly. But you knew the guy was shot because you just saw... And all of a guy sudden, A shoot guy B. It would, guy B it falls. Would, and, it would pan to another camera, and the guy would just fall down. Exactly, you know, he would it. fall out of frame. Like exactly. that's what it was. But no, good movie. Um, if you have kids, <laughs> I definitely recommend uh, older kids, not necessarily teenagers. Thirteen but is it rated thirteen? I believe it has to be with all the guns in it. Yeah, but uh, and plus there I is doubt it's rated R. Lady J is in the movie. She's a GI Joe character. Uh, Lady Fine as Hell is what her name should have been. Um, If you see the movie, you'll understand what I'm talking about. There is a scene in there. Look at the reflection on the television. There's there's an old uh, tube television sitting there. There's a reflection of her in the television. Just watch the reflection. That's all I got to tell you. Watch the reflection. Dropping hints. 
Yeah, oh, it's a good movie. Good movie. How, how, how old's your son? 11. He can go see it. I wouldn't say it would be a bad movie for him. I mean, to he see. plays more, you know, but, but Call I'm, of Duty. I'm so it's, like, it, it's not like crazy gory. He, he would like it too. But um, the other thing I did, which was kind of neat, was I went to um, a food truck bazaar. Okay. okay. Uh, what a food truck bazaar is, there's about 10 to 15 food trucks. Food trucks are becoming popular like crazy. Literally is utility truck converted to make food, and then guys selling food out of the side of truck. You know what? And actually, to kind of boost them up, is that some of these food trucks are serving better food. Well, they are serving better food than you can get in a restaurant. I had... Okay, let me tell you what I had. Right? Okay. The first thing me, me and Cassie had, because we went there with the intention of splitting everything. And the other thing that I just want to warn you is, don't go there necessarily starving. Go there hungry. Don't go starving, because you can drop some money. And drop it like that. Yeah. Well, they're um, gourmet. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is. The first truck we stopped by was called Monsta Lobster. Literally is the name of it. Monster Lobster. Couldn't have any di- reference to a Boston, right? No. 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 <laughs> Maine, Boston, none. No. no we got a lobster roll. Okay. You know what a lobster roll is? Is not uh, is that just the lobsters wrapped around something? No. No, like no, no, sushi? no, no, no. No, it's not sushi. A lobster roll is, it, I would compare it to a uh, chicken salad. Okay. Um, tuna salad kind of thing. So it's like chunks of lobster in like a dressing of sorts. Correct. Now this one was different. This guy's recipe was different. <laughs> Normally there's a lot of mayo involved and pepper and this and that. This guy's recipe was pretty simple. It was mainly, I, I could taste the lemon in it and the oil. But anyway, chunks of lobster meat. I'm talking like chunks, quarter sized. And it, claw meat, which is the most rich meat, the thickest meat. Um, the thing served on a bun like this. Not a bun. It's, it's one of those like loaves of bread that they cut the middle out of to make it into a sandwich. Anyway, anyway. Like a hoagie roll? A hoagie roll, but like super hoagie roll. Oh, okay. Stuffed it. The whole sandwich was stuffed, overflowing to where we had to use a fork to eat it. There was so much meat on it. It was ridiculous. It was so good. The second thing we had, which me and Cassie weren't a favorite of, um, they had a grilled cheese truck there. Literally making <laughs> gourmet grilled cheese sandwiches. Okay. The one we had was the pulled pork. Was a Frenchman making grilled cheese? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it... Um, I mean, we, I don't know how you turn grilled cheese fancy. They had some expensive cheeses. Oh, uh, okay. So you can get like exotic cheese. They had like a just, brie one. It's not like craft. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, no, the the list of cheese was ridiculous. But we got uh, it was the mac and pork sandwich or whatever. I think that was the name of it. Uh, Sounds delicious. But it was pulled pork with macaroni and cheese. The uh, some onions on it with cheddar cheese was the actual grilled cheese on Texas toast. Um, it was okay. I wouldn't have paid that much for that. I could have made it cheaper. And it would have been better. It was decent. It was okay. Okay. But the the big finale, the one that was drawing the crowd, was the chicken and waffle truck. <laughs> I've grown to love, love chicken and waffles. You know, to this day, and I'm probably going to sound un-American, I've never had chicken and waffles. Don't don't worry. Yeah, that was my second time ever having it. Oh wow! Oh. But it, it's I've never so had it. awkwardly awesome because you want it to be nasty. But it works so well. Well, the together. chicken you would think is just it, 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 that dinner feel, and then the breakfast with the syrup and and that that's how we had it. It's how? literally waffle it, on the tray, right? It's, it's like waffle, a big conundrum. My brain can't fried chicken <laughs> on top. Now it's not the bone in chicken; it's chicken breast that yeah. we use. Uh, chicken it, breast all over. Is it. it fried chicken or is fried it grilled chicken. chicken? Fried chicken. Fried. Fried chicken. Okay. That's placed on top of the waffle and literally maple syrup just everywhere on top. You know, I've actually, I've become uh, a, like a syrup snob. I can only have maple syrup because it just tastes so delicious. Okay, good As opposed you. to regular syrup. You yeah, know. Weird. Huh? Well, no, I, I agree with that. <laughs> maple syrup's the only way to go. Yeah, strawberry, flavor. though. Strawberry is always good. Really? I'm a sucker for strawberry syrup. I've Maybe never had one. strawberry syrup. I mean, strawberry on, like, something, like a waffle, but... No, no, no. Strawberry syrup. I hop. Oh. Name drop. <laughs> I'm serious. They have it. Um, but no, that's that was awesome. Um, they're in the Orlando area. They do a little tour. It's the same trucks everywhere they go. But my God, I can't wait till they come back. Cannot wait. Because those chicken waffles were amazing. It's um, like waiting for the carnival to come back in town. It really is. Like, no joke. It's a, it's a stomach carnival. Cream. 
Yeah, there you go. That's what it is. Uh, anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. The last thing I did, now I talked about it a little bit uh, last episode. Um, this time I actually got more in depth in what I was doing. Gears of War Judgment. Um, I talked a little bit about it because I just got it. Played maybe 30 minutes worth of it. I played a lot more. <laughs> and I'm more <laughs> into the campaign now. There's different story modes or uh, multiplayer modes and stuff. Highly online content and uh, online such. content's pretty good. They've already released a map, which I don't understand. I saw that how on Xbox. soon you can release a map after game was released, and why didn't you just include the damn map in the game already? Maybe it was a last yeah. minute addition. No, oh right, right. It's a snowboard. Release the game. Release it. We'll we'll add it later as a downloadable content. It's a snowboard. Snow, snow. So snow's flying around. You have to have that kind of stuff ready. A week, uh, yeah. Come on, you, a week later. Oh, now it's ready to be. Oh, you I would screw assume, you. I would assume the programming probably took a while, but oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> anyway. But no, the uh, game fantastic. If you're a Gears of War fan, I recommend it. If you're into it from the multiplayer, it's okay. Multiplayer um, Gears of War three really had all the modes that you'd like in it. Uh, this one's a little bit more confined to what they actually have, but it's it, the only. They've taken a lot of the, a lot of the really good multiplayer modes, combined them, um, made the list a lot shorter, but made gameplay a lot better because now when people are playing the game, they're not spread out between three thousand different game modes. <laughs> they're spread out between four well, or five. Well, that was the problem: is that when you were like, when I was playing Gears of War three with you, it was mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm in such and such lobby with uh, Horde on this. Yep. And it, it, there was so many different op- options, and it was like, come on, just simplify it. And yeah. I, I guess they heard the call for that, so... Well, I, they, they did. The it, game, it makes it but... a richer game, I think. Well, but... I mean, it's just... Imagine Call of Duty with ten different domination things. Mm-hmm. That uh, it, it would just make it the game unplayable, because there would be so many spread out. Oh, no, no, I agree with you. I mean, 100%. it would just... They finally have decided to go in a good direction. Mm-hmm. They've also simplified the controller. The controller before in all the Gears games, you had to use the D-pad to change your weapons out and stuff. Yes. Now you do it with pressing Y. So, like a Call of Call Duty. Duty type game. <laughs> They've made it easy. Uh, and I like that about it. I really, really do. Um, it seems to flow a lot better. It's a very fast-paced game to yes. begin with. Fast-paced game, you don't want to have complicated controls. You want it to be simple and easy. And they've made it simple and easy, and it works very well. Very well. I love it. And plus, I modded my controller. I wish you had it in here to show. What we'll do is we'll actually take a picture. You want, can yeah. you do that where you just post a picture? You can yes, do it right over my head like it's the controller. <laughs> but I modded a controller um, first attempt. <clears throat> it was very successful. Um, if anyone out there wants me to mod a controller, now I know what I'm doing. It took me literally the one time to take a controller apart to see how it really is, to figure out, and got the... Dude, it's really simplified. I've done it Ten once. minutes is what it took me to Just replace to parts. To replace parts. I'm talking about literally sit there, unscrew everything. I'm talking about taking everything out, okay. all the buttons, everything out of it, cleaning it. Yeah, it Putting the new stuff... The, and the hardest thing to do is the triggers. Because the hard, they're spring-loaded. That okay. was the hardest thing to change out. Okay. Because you had to but, put the springs back on. Exactly. But taking one thing on, put the other thing on, spring back in it, literally took me 10 minutes to do. If anyone out there wants me to do it for you, I'm glad they do it for you. Um, either no, just buy the kit. No, 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 not even. <laughs> I mean, it was cool to do. I'd charge you probably 10 bucks to do it, literally. A Plus dollar a minute. The kit is. If you want me to buy the kit, I'll buy the kit. If you want me to, if you give me the kit to do it, and I'll do it with what you give me. That's fine, too. Speaking of that, do they make a uh, PlayStation 3 mod kit? Yes, they do. So they can make 9mm ammo they buttons? They do. Oh. They, also, the, they also have nine mil, or the uh, shotgun shell uh, joysticks. Oh, the uh, yaw and pitch mm-hmm. pad, uh, whatever they're called. Yep. They also, dude, they, it's ridiculous. I'll show you later. It's ridiculous. And I it's saw a awesome. glimpse of it. It's now, gold. <laughs> now, yeah, it, I went from a broken controller to now yeah. having a black and literally gold controller with bullet buttons. See, that you've achieved all 
Yeah. Okay. So I went from literally just about to throw away a controller, completely redid it. Well, this it, was one with was awesome. green duct tape, and I'd broken a piece. I dropped it. <laughs> I had you green duct tape. I threw it, <laughs> but then I duct taped it closed and everything, and um, got tired Let's of that real quick. Yeah, yeah. Let's be honest about it. But no. But then found this kit, bought the kit, um, had it. It took a little bit because I had to get it from overseas, from England. It took a little bit to get here. When, once I got it, though, it was game on. It was as soon as I got home from work, changed it out, and then happened to be a night I worked till like real late at work. I worked till like nine in the uh, nine at night. Okay. Um, I work at 9 in the morning. At 9 in the morning, to 9 at night. As soon as I got home, that's the first thing I did. I literally cleaned off all the dust off me and then went to work on it. Because it's all with circuit board and stuff. So Yeah. But it was cool. It was cool. But oh, anyway, awesome. anyway uh, back to Gears multiplayer. Something I would be interested in. Which actually, um, like you were saying, speaking of the Gears, is that the, sim- the gameplay itself. Mm-hmm. How's the, you played it now. Have yeah. you played the campaign? Yes, I have. Campaign, I'm almost done with it. Okay. I, now, the campaign, I like what they did. Um, well, like and dislike. Uh, they've taken away the flow of the game. Remember how Gears was? You would literally pop it in, and it would go, bam, bam, the nonstop through the story until you had to well, stop The it. only time you had a pause was the cutscenes. Yeah. That was it. it, it but now there's that, a, it was just a continuous There's like story. a scoring system. You have to get certain stars. The more stars you get, unlocks different features in the game. Stuff like that. Um, is it a create your own almost? Like if you, if you do something, will it change an outcome? Yes. The reason why I say yeah. that is, there's you walk up. There's these glowing red gears mm-hmm. award cog logo on the walls in this game. You walk up to it and press X. It gives you a declassified mission. Okay. Right? Now normally you can just go through and play the, the map normal how it's already been made, but this thing changes it up a little bit. Like for one instance, you might have to finish that whole board in three minutes flat. You only have three minutes to go from point A to point B, kill everyone on the map before you can advance, and it's tar- It's hard. It's not easy. There's other ones where um, their smoke bombs have gone off, so okay. visibility is gone. You can't see literally five feet in front of you, so you're literally kind of feeling your way through the map, Yeah. Um, which is awesome, which I think is really fucking cool. Well, I mean, it gives you that life. Like if you were in that situation, that's what yeah. you would you would yeah. experience. Walk around with a shotgun. Recommend it. Walk around with a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and try Can't that at home. It. Don't try that at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, there's other things where uh, ammo's limited. You only get like a certain clip. Um, there's other boards where you get no ammo. One in the chamber. Nothing. <laughs> you get nothing. Like the the last one I just played was you have no ammo. You literally have to go find somebody, melee the hell out of them to get ammo, and then you can proceed from there. Okay. Um, so it's made it, it's harder, and it's if you get tired of it, then you can just do it real easy. They've also there's also ones where the 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 guys you fight on the map, the guys that spawn are a lot tougher. I mean, takes a lot to take them down, and there's thirty of them, nonstop. Well, now, in your opinion. Would that mean that you would say this Gears of War is better than Gears of War 3? I would as far as making it harder on some boards because it, it, it compels part of the story. Okay. It brings more to it. Um, <coughs> the only thing that I don't like about it is the stop between each mission. I liked it when it was a clean cut game. There was no stop, no breaking point. Um... But this thing comes to a screen where it literally will add up your totals and everything for the map. How many kills you had? How many down but not outs did you have? And It's it's a little ridiculous because I really don't care about that. Is As long as I finished the board, got all the stars I needed, mm-hmm. I don't care that I killed 50 people to do it. Just let me go to the next damn board. Well, that brings up another thing is that how do you feel gameplay content has changed? I mean, as far as even within the last I would say last six months when uh, Modern Warfare 3 came out, mm-hmm. as opposed to Black Ops 2, I feel that Modern Warfare 2 had better campaign a storyline. And that's another thing. I wouldn't be surprised if Modern Warfare 4 was just strictly multiplayer. It had no campaign. It was just guns and people online. That's it. Because when people get it, they don't play. They don't touch the. I, I I swear they don't touch the 
campaign until they've get, gotten so pissed online to go, you know what, I'm just going to go and campaign and kill everyone. Now, see, that's what I hate about video games. Now, like what you're saying about with Gears. Um, Gears, <laughs> I think, is held, ha- is held really strong to its roots of being a campaign featuring multiplayer. Not necessarily like Call of Duty or Black Ops, where it literally is a multiplayer featuring a side story of campaign. If yeah. Um, well, that's the thing. Like, I've only purchased... Uh, Gears of War 3. So I don't even know Gears of War 1 or 2. I don't know necessarily know the backstory, but I tell you what, just to, and that's another thing, is that it, it almost is an online multiplayer, even in the campaign, because I can team up with you to play a strategic role in the series. Yeah. yeah. And that's, you know, when you're a first player, one player, it gets boring playing with yourself after a while. It does. It does now. The other, Unless you have an epic story to tell, yeah. Um, me personally, when it comes to video games, and it's such a disappointment nowadays. I remember back in the Nintendo days, Super Nintendo, Sega, sixty four. I'll even go PlayStation and Xbox. Um, right when the whole internet thing was being introduced, but um, I remember the adapters you had to have for yeah. the PlayStation. They were just blocks of yeah. And it was DSL. There, there really was no online content. It was all... If you had to be online, it was all PC. Yeah. And yeah. even then, that was limited. You know, but no, but what I was saying, though, is the stories to these games have been lost in trying to make kids and people happy just for uh, the, the multiplayer aspect of it. And I hate that because the storyline, to me, is what <clears throat> traps me in the game. That's what keeps me interested. As as soon as you lose that, I'm out of it. Yeah, I'm not focused anymore. There's a game that recently it came out. It's called Defiance, mm-hmm. and you know what? It, it's a game, and also it's a series on sci-fi. So I mean, you almost take over. Like you'll see something on sci-fi, like let's say an episode, and all of a sudden you're playing it in game. That is, uh, uh, what was it called? Tangibility. Mm-hmm. You know, where you can touch it, you feel it. All of a sudden, you become that person. You become, in, let's say, uh, Black Ops 2, you become Frank Woods. You become uh, his son or whatever from down the line. You become that person, and you're, there's no disconnect from it. And that's yeah. where, like, you know, you were saying with the multiplayer, it's just become overran. Did, did uh, Modern Warfare original game ever have multiplayer? Campaign? No, multiplayer. The Modern Warfare 1? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Call of Duty 4, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, it was Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. And it had multiplayer, and and that one was so simple. Um, And it was so good. You still had all the attachments for your weapons and stuff. Now, not necessarily, like, ridiculous amounts of stuff, but the the kill streaks were simple. You got three kills, you got a UAV. You got five kills, you had an airstrike come in. You had, um, I think it was seven or eight kills. Helicopter. You got a helicopter. So but it was a set. You you couldn't customize a loadout, let's say, of no, kill streaks. You could not. Okay. You couldn't. But it was so simple and it was so easy. Modern Warfare Two changed it up, but the kill streaks were still good. They were still not unobtainable. Like you could not reach out and get it. Uh, the nuke from Modern Warfare Two. The nuke to me was it was the game changer for me because if you literally went twenty five no what was it it was twenty four or twenty four and O, oh, you killed twenty four people without dying, you deserve to end that match and be the winner for that match. You deserve it. Yeah. Um, because literally well, that's you, not easy. Well and and that's another thing with what I got because I got into Call of Duty two. I I actually uh had it for my brother. Uh, I got it off of him. I got his Xbox and actually started playing. That's when I started gaming, really on on as far as first person shooter. And going from that to let's say Black Ops because that came after Modern Warfare Two, the kill streaks were just so. I mean, I would get UAV. I would just put the first three kill streaks, and that's it because I could never ever get past. I think I may have gotten seven kills in a row, and that's it. I could never get the dogs. I could never get the helicopter. The heli- 
I, I just couldn't attain that. I don't yeah. know why. I just couldn't. Is an experience maybe, but I mean, now with the, that you're able to customize things. I mean, you're able, Black Ops Two, for instance, now has a system, which I'm sure you all play. Is it, it's a pick ten? You can do anything. You can be totally second, uh, second gunner, or you know, your secondary weapon, and that's it. You need a primary weapon. You don't. You can put all that towards your perks. You can do yep. this, that. Which is nice and it's customizable, but again, they're just focusing on the multiplayer and nothing else. I miss I miss those games that when you would sit down, you could half the games released now. If you sat down, you could beat it in eight hours. On Remember the Halo setting. One? Huh? Remember Halo One? Of course, of course. Best. I I think the storyline was awesome. Well, it was on, it was so out. Now I honestly think the Halo series. You can shoot me down if you want. I don't care. But the Halo series right now is untouchable by any other game out there. I Not got multiplayer. One. I got one. What? Go ahead. God of War. Yeah. <laughs> because no, but, you know what? But, they don't I'll have say, an online multiplayer. With but God I'll of say War. this. I'll say this about Halo though. The Halo story comes first. Halo's origin or origins uh-huh. comes first in that game series. Halo has such an in-depth storyline. That they don't just say, well, here's some campaign, we half-assed it. But play multiplayer. Multiplayer is crazy. The reason why Halo comes out once every four years, three, four, five years, is because they do so much work to get it done right the first time. And no game can follow it, because every game's like, oh, they have a great story, but look at our multiplayer! We have... Well, like you were saying, with Gears of War, they release a new map after a week. It's like, uh... yeah, come on. It's a little ridiculous. But no, but Halo, I think, does it right. Now, God of War, storyline's fantastic. No online multiplayer, though. No. Until the recent game. The Ascensions, I think it is? I think there's a multi... I haven't looked into it. I don't have a PS3, so I really don't research it too much, but apparently there is a... There is multiplayer in that. It looks kind of neat. I wonder how that would... You know what? I gotta go and, like, find out, because that seems like it would be very awkward. Like, it looked like it... But, I mean, as far as God of War, it was always a it, it, it was a huge puzzle game. That's all it was. Amazing. Oh, it was epic. Amazing. I mean, Amazing. you're the God of War. It has to be. You know, mm. when you're fighting Olymp, you know, all the gods of Olympus. And that's the thing. Like, if you're kind of a history buff, you got you're fighting what uh, you read about Zeus. You know, yeah. it, 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 this guy, this god that shoots lightning bolts, and, and you're to be fighting a jerk. He's a douche. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I totally agree with that 100%. I just, I miss the games that, the Final Fantasies back in the day. Not the new shit. The new stuff sucks. Final Fantasy, like, seven. Three. Yeah, okay. I'll give you that. Even, three's what got me started in video games. I used to play games like Street Fighter 2 with my friends and stuff, but when I got Final the Fantasy 3. Games. Yeah. When I got Final Fantasy 3 and I sat down and played it, I was so hooked into that game, I would honestly play it for hours upon hours. And I was a kid. And I mean, I just could not stop because I was so curious what I was going to be doing next, who I was going to be fighting, how I was going to control everything. What got me into Final Fantasy was Final Fantasy, I think it was 8, when you had the Cloud City and you had the Chocobos. And well, Chocobos all... are ongoing through all yeah, of them. That's, that's the one a, common That's factor. a staple. You know, with them, and actually, it, it it was so much of a good game. And the only, the first multiplayer massive MMO, massive multiplayer online, that I played was actually Final Fantasy. I think it was ten or eleven. It was the only. Oh. It was the very first oh, online yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy. But I mean, it was just so time consuming, and the. You would party up with just rant. I was playing with Japanese people that you know couldn't speak a lick of English, but it would translate it. But I mean, it, it, you would meet these people from all over the world, and that was just—it it was so surreal. It was just a yeah. great game. You could only go into certain areas, or else you get decimated. Mm-hmm. And it was just a great. <clears throat> even though you're not really necessarily a storyline, you did have a storyline that you could play. Yeah. And live up to that. It, you know, the modern day LARP in, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, 
you just like I was uh, touching back on it. You become that person. You yep. become such and such online. I be you know like we were touching on God. What was it? Episode one. You become. I become the ravenous flamingo on Xbox Live. You know, I don't become Justin. No. And just, just like with me, it was. It's you become an extension of yourself with these games. Like I'm online. I'm Darth Quag. Exactly. When people talk to me on the game, it's not like, "Hey, Chris." It's, "Hey, Darth." Hey, Darth. It, Darth. It, Rav. It's, yeah. it's what it is. And that's the thing. Even when I'm logged in, I'm. I don't call him almost by. I don't even call you by your name almost. Nope. At all. I don't think so because it's like you're just that. You're becoming that person. Like in Call of Duty, when we co-op or when we're on the same team, it's just, "Hey, Darth." Come, guy coming your way. I just saw him. Hey, you know this, that, and the other. But that's the thing is that even with the multiplayer and actually Gears of War, referencing back, when I was able to play with you on the campaign, mm-hmm. there were certain parts where we're split apart. The truck one where you yep. could either go high or you were in the truck in the trenches. Yep. You had to be like the forefront and be like, okay, there. I missed a guy. He's coming your way. Yep. Take him out. Yep. And that's what, you know, these games are lacking is that, and I can't wait to see what they're going to come up with, like Modern Warfare 4. I don't even know what their direction they're going to go in because of uh, Black Ops 2 is now set in the future. How Modern, are they going to have a, have Modern Warfare I mean, almost, and 4 even, and even then, I in mean, the future again, like the future, Arc, future. Treyarch and Infinity Ward, yeah, they're separate companies, but they almost kind of mirrored each other. I wish, I wish to God, yeah, I understand that the two separate companies, <clears throat> you guys got to be smart and realize, hey, <laughs> this game's set in the future, let's do one set in the future future, oh yeah, we're going to have a time machine, <laughs> and then we're going to go back in the future and revisit. We're going to the Revolutionary War. And the, actually, you know what? Why don't they do that? You know what? Why don't they have a Wild West Call of Duty game? It's all how, revolvers and shotguns and rifles. How awesome would rifles. that be? Like, serious, no, it wouldn't be this, like, you would have your classic, you know, the pump rifles and stuff, you'd have your different handguns, but, dude, that would be awesome. Awesome. I mean... Horseback? Yeah. Kill streaks would be like cannon fire? Yeah. Indians coming in? The, like, seriously. Uh, you know what game actually... Dogs I, would be coyotes at that point? It, yeah, exactly. The, the one game I enjoy... And I I love playing, but just for the story has been Assassin's Creed. Yes, a little That's disappointed. Okay. I've not, I haven't game. played I know. the. I have, I'm not dropping anything, but <laughs> the, the gameplay was amazing. I heard they've had yeah. a lot more stuff. You have to kill to feed. You have to kill, you know this hunt. Mm-hmm. Well, no, you get... you don't you don't necessarily feed. It's not like a an MMO per se. I don't know. Um, but. You do have to hunt to get furs and bones and horns and this, that, and stuff, so you can actually sell it and make money. Because remember the other Assassin's Creed, like, you would own all this property, yes, and then you would just bet. You literally could stand in the same spot, let the game sit for four hours, and be a millionaire on the game, and then buy whatever you needed. But this one, you actually have to go out and hunt. Then there's parts where you can get, like, a fur and sell it. It brings that farming back in. But no, but look, you can buy a fur and then sell it and get like 20 bucks, or you can buy a fur, combine it with another item, and sell it for like 300 bucks, but then you had to wait 15 minutes for it to be made. Okay, so, you know what, actually there was a game, actually it was Assassin's, it was Assassin's Creed 1, 2, where you were Ezio as a young kid, two. I think it was 2, um, where actually you would see Leonardo da Vinci and he would... Make things for you, but it would take time. Yeah, it wasn't like you could just. You had to bring him the appropriate things, and then all you had of a sudden to have he's the like, plans, "You had to have the money, and then you exactly. gave it to him, and then he would make it for you." But it wasn't like you. It would be done. It would be done. Here's the money. Here's this. Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. there you go. Done. No, you you would have to go on like a couple missions, and then all of a sudden it's yep. like, "Hey, come by my shop. I made it for you." Yep. Yeah, you know, but that's you know, it's more of that realistic wholesome fill it's not instant gratification no no you know that's a word thrown around and that's what a lot of games are now as opposed to like you're saying the back in nintendo games i mean that's all it was you played nintendo it was a story mm-hmm. except for duck hunt 
That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah. No, but no, but seriously, Mario Brothers, Donkey Kong, it was all these games that you're playing had some kind of a meaning behind it. It wasn't yeah. just you had because, a goal exactly, and it was fun and it was it was an adventure you played until you finished it or you died. I mean, that's just what it was. Um, Contra is that the same thing. I mean, yes, but like the games like today, I, I will go back and say Halo is a good one, a game series that is blows my mind that no one has played, and it's so quiet. Um, blows my mind people haven't played this. It's for PlayStation 2. 2. Okay. So it might be out on the PlayStation Network. I don't know. Don't have a PlayStation. Onimusha. Onimusha. Holy crap, Onimusha. You know what? Yeah. I, I've heard of that game. I could not tell you what it... I've heard the name. Oh. My. God. That game. Holy crap. It was. It's a series of four games now. There's one, two, three. Uh, the fourth one was, I think... I forget the name of it, but it was Onimusha's something. It wasn't just... Yeah. Um, whatever. But anyway, it plays like Devil May Cry. Okay. You play Devil May Cry? Yes. It plays just like Devil May Cry, slash... Um, I'd, I'd even throw in um, Resident Evil style game, because it's made by Capcom. You know, all those games run the same way. Street Fighter. No. Capcom. It's Capcom, but not like this. I know. <laughs> it's not a two-person... Stupid. But anyway, no, it was amazing storyline, and it kept. Oh my god, yeah, that game! First off, it, it took like freaking thirty hours to beat each game. There were so many little puzzles you could do, so many little things you, you could go get to help you out on this. And, oh my god! You know what? I'll I, I think of a, a, a of a good one is uh, uh what was it? it, it uh, Zelda. Orkiana of time, of time. Sorry. Well, that that's still that's a lot of people's favorites. I honestly like the Mask of Majora. Really, I I've love never that played game. that one. I love. That I play. One. I actually, I take that back. I may have played like a couple minutes and never got into it. But what's well, it's, a, it's a, like a classic Zelda game. They're all the same. Yeah, they're but all you had the same. goal. You, you you and actually the funny thing is you're Link. You're not Zelda. That's what people <laughs> didn't understand. But no, um, the the Mask of Majora was kind of cool. Like after you. You help someone out or defeat a certain enemy or do blah, 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 blah on your quest. You would get, like, a special mask from that species. And then you'd have to do, like, a song in that mask, like, pressing the, the keypad. Yeah. Which would, would, A, either call you a horse, get you better armor, change you into this, do this, do this. There were so many different things, but it was cool. It was cool. I reckon, I liked that one. A lot of people don't, didn't like it, but I really liked it. But anyway. Yeah, right. totally. Now, even um, though we've been bashing... Multiplayer this entire yeah. <laughs> time. It's not that we don't like the multiplayer, but if you're gonna buy a game for sixty bucks, give me sixty dollars worth of entertainment yeah, at least, and then have multiplayer as a add-on. <laughs> yeah, multiplayer is extra. You bought the game for the campaign. Okay, I paid. Five, let me say, I paid ten bucks for the multiplayer. At fifty dollars, went for the content of the game. Exactly. That's what exactly. I would say. But now, when it comes to multiplayer, don't get me wrong, we like it. I'm all about it. I do play online a lot. Probably as soon as we're done here and he goes home, I'll be playing. Yep. Plain and simple is how it's going to be. Um, but with that being said, I'm very competitive on it. I'm pretty good at these games. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually pretty I'm damn good at a lot of these games. Um, I really just don't talk the crap. It's because I you can hear actually, that? That's tooting your own home. Yeah. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing it to talk crap. I'm doing it because it's the truth is that I'm actually good at it. Hand-eye coordination, for whatever reason, I can actually hang with a lot of really, really good players out there. Actually, I get pissed off at how quick you are sometimes when we're fighting against each other. Oh, I'll know. join your session. It's like, I know I had you, Uh huh. but all of a sudden you just twitch fire, and it's like, mother... <laughs> oh, no, no, this is how it is. That's how I've always been. It's, uh, I, it's Hear something and react immediately. There is no, like, processing, oh, maybe I should... No, it's, as soon as something happens, I'm immediately reacting to it. One thing that's improved mine with that... Because I've caught you off guard sometimes. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, playing these free for all games, and also using your like Black Ops Two, using uh, ballistic knife and also uh, combat axes, mm -hmm. which I posted for you guys. It's, it helps you with your aiming. It helps you with aiming, and plus also that reaction to where when you get into your controller. You know how you can set sensitivity? Mm -hmm. Where all of a sudden you know that when you tap it for just a split second, your, got, your thing's going to be on that person, and you just fire. 
Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, it helps with that coordination. And, of course, I haven't been playing probably as long as you, as no, far but, as Xbox is concerned. But No, you haven't, but at the same time, it's... Like, um, I remember I got the original Xbox years after it was out. Literally had it, and in, in like two years later, the 360 came out. Yeah, like that's how that's how I had it. But no, I remember picking up Halo One. The first time I ever played it, it took me ten minutes to learn the controller, and that was the first time ever playing with the multi joystick stuff. <coughs> right? it, before it was the the 64 playing. Uh, uh, well, you had it? the you had the little analog. And you then had the you analog had and then you triggers, had, yeah. and that was it. Yep. But it was, a, and even then, the only thing that, you know, Mario Kart, it, it, let's say, mm-hmm. you really didn't have to aim. You, it, it exactly. Was, you, you would lock onto a target, like, let's say, or uh, Zelda. You could lock onto a target, and it would just trace that target. Yep. That's it. It would do no, all like, the uh, for you. But, like, on uh, the, it, <laughs> it was mind-blowing to me playing Halo and, and the joysticks and all that was involved, and, and I was so used to pushing left to Go turn left. left. Now I'm pushing left and I'm sh- strafing left. Yeah. And it um, blew my mind. It took me literally 10 minutes and the people that had been playing it for years, owning people. Like, I started going to Halo parties when I worked at FYE. Um, dude, I would go there. I hadn't been playing as long as half these people I was mm-hmm. playing against, but I used to embarrass people to the point where they <laughs> were so mad that they want, it was literally 20 people there. 20 people and myself, so there's 21 people total. Uh-huh. We would have a match of 20 versus one, <laughs> and I would go on kill streaks. I mean, I'm talking like 10, 15, 20 people before I'd finally die. How pissed off were they? Oh, dude, I got thrown out of these parties. <laughs> I was told never to come back to these parties. I was told so much crap, and it was just because I can pick it up really good. And, even, and that's kind of funny is that, you know, these people that get rage, you know, what they call it. Oh, yeah. And you hear it so much online. And, and it, the, I, I love and I hate that they've added the talkback feature when you kill somebody or when somebody kills you. You get to hear them for like a split second. Yeah. And it's just that instant gratification. Like you just made somebody go off. Oh, you know, yeah, and it's like, yeah, you know what's up. <laughs> it, but I mean, on the same end, when you're on that receiving end, they get to hear you say it, and it's you know, you're going, I'm just going to turn my mic off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not so, talking to nobody. Yeah, but yeah, I play honestly, unless I'm playing with him or a few other people. Uh, it's no mic, no talking. I, I mute everybody on the screen so I don't have to hear their crap, and I just play the game just to play it. Uh, that's what it is, and um, so you play it for the content. Yeah, well, yes, yes. But Ish. what? I, the content other reason Ish. why I'm playing it so hardcore is because I would love one day, one day to go compete at MLG and see what I could bring to the table and see how much damage I could do. Well, you get your rank, you know, like Black Ops Two, get in, which mm-hmm. is a piss poor ranking system. Oh, I don't even bother. But, no, the the ranking system at MLG <clears throat> is done correctly it's done right it's done smart they obviously know what the hell they're doing and you have to compete a few times before they'll officially rank you you don't just show up and then clean the table and like oh obviously he's number one yeah well no you were number one that day do it again we'll give you number one exactly and and that and actually i just got an email probably a couple weeks ago um e-sports which you know is electronic sports which now we're calling it sports. <laughs> to hold a controller. See these fingers? <laughs> these fingers are so strong because I work out every day. Those, those, uh, that thumb and index finger crushes, you know. Cans of soda. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I, they're competing for a million dollars. Yeah. A million dollars to play a video game. How awesome would that be? Not only just the million dollars, but even then... You are the best in... Hell, this is worldwide release. Yeah. You are the best in the world. Mm-hmm. It's New Zealand, Australia, Europe. I, maybe Africa. I don't know how... <laughs> I don't know if they actually have a lot... You know, when they've got that world yeah, spinning. Yeah. I don't see Africa. South that. Africa, I've seen. Okay, yeah, you're right. But, I mean, it, it's all of North America. That's always lit up. Mm-hmm. 
you are the number one of everyone. Yeah. How prestigious. I would love to have just a plaque to take up this whole wall. But no, you know how it works in MLG, though? You are good at the game. You do great. You're, you're fantastic. You show up. You dominate. You get the cash prize. You make your money as a player through sponsorships. Yeah. You make your money as a player through getting your, your hotel comped, your your plane ticket just <clears throat> handed to you. Um, that's how you're making your, your cash. Well, and then you start to wear, like, what UFC fighters wear. Exactly. On their, on their pants and everything. You're the name brand now. Exactly. And... Yeah, now new love. Red Bull. There's a Red Bull <laughs> gaming crew. Like, a Red Bull team. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I, I, <laughs> Red Bull. Not only do they sponsor nerds in their games, but they also sponsor astronauts that jump yeah. from, you know, 24 miles up and whatever the hell it was. It, 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 how do you sponsor something like that? And it's like... That's it. That's the face of your company, mm-hmm. you know? As long as you're not messing up. I, mean, I guess, you know. <laughs> no, but still, it's it's <laughs> genius. Point. It's a dream of mine because it would be so amazing. Lance Armstrong. How are you going to be juiced up playing video games? <laughs> now, here. Yeah. No, now that you touched on Lance Armstrong, I'm going to rant real quick. I'm going to say something real quick and be nice and Hold easy. Hold on. Quags minute. Quags minute. Literally, it'll be a minute. Lance Armstrong, you know, he tested positive for all these drugs that he took or whatever. They stripped him of his titles, right? Do you know that they tested every single top competitor and every single one of them, I, th- I think except for like two, who ranked like the bottom, tested positive for taking those same exact drugs? The problem that these people have with it is that our juiced up guy, I'm quoting a comedian 100%, our juiced up guy beat your juiced up guy. Are you kidding me? That's why we're going to... D- this man is a hero. He did it with no balls. Really? One ball. Whatever. <laughs> but seriously. I mean, the man is... A, he he fought cancer. He, he triumphed over it. And then he has success in a sport. You know, bust his... Oh, he took drugs to do it. Who cares? You know the music you're listening to? I guarantee you someone took drugs to make it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I mean, that was what, you know, how most of the 70s were. Well, yeah, but, but I'm just saying, though, it's it's mind-blowing. It's ugh. Anyway, Quag's Minute is over. Yeah. Just no, no, no. Video game. Uh, just the MLG aspect, I would love the... And, I, and that's the thing. Like, I, I don't see... You go to MLG's website, I don't see where it's like, oh, compete here. Compete there. I mean, yeah. they had something not too long ago in Orlando for it, but... I mean, it was about two years ago that I remember. It, yeah, exactly. But that's the thing. is like, I don't... It's not like I get the newsletter, hey, we're going to be in, blah, you know? Yeah. I mean, when American Idol comes out... No, it's pretty much... You know where you, they're going to be. <laughs> it's word of mouth, and obviously, if you're, <coughs> if you're a 100% legit pro, you're they're calling you to tell you it's time for you to come out to compete here and do this and show that you can blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but how do you get noticed? That's the thing. Dude, like, it's, I, it's, it's not the like people that have on... no jobs. It's the people that have no jobs. All they're doing is playing 24 hours a day, submitting video game clips, showing up to like the little tournaments at, at game stops and, and playing trades and stuff and yeah. showing that they're so good. And <clears throat> those are the people that get noticed and those are the people that get I guess up. it's like the singer that sings in bars their whole life and all of a sudden the record company guy drinking a beer is like, you know what, I'm going to give you a chance. Kind exactly, and it's also the the the, uh, the new artist of the year who's actually not that new. He's been performing for thirty years already, but he's new to be famous. So here's his award. Wow, it's the same. It's the same damn thing. That's why, like, at any moment, if you go to any of these tournaments, that guy that you're playing against, as long as you're better than him, you could actually get picked up. You actually could make it. It's like a sports. Uh... No, it, it really is. It's like uh, they have scout teams. Yeah, out. there you go. It's really what it is. But yeah, that's that's it. I think we've uh, exhausted everything. <laughs> yeah, and I'm tired. I don't know why I'm tired. I, I got I video games this. to play. It's good, isn't it? This is delicious. I'm I sorry. highly again I, highly I, recommend it. Shop <laughs> top, honey crisp apple, wheat. <laughs> apple. Wheat. He's even inebriated. He can say it right now. I'm not inebriated. I'm just tired, dude. You heard what I did this weekend? I'm exhausted. <laughs> did you hear what I did this weekend? Oh yeah, it's fucking Star Lumber. Exactly. <laughs> no, worry. dude, I'm tired. I oh, I, can't, I can't wait to go to bed after I play video games. <laughs> I'm gonna finish that. Yeah, right. Go ahead and finish that. Close All right, that's yeah, close enough. 
Well, again, thank you very much. Episode number nine. Nine for the man cave. Manga, we love you. Sorry you couldn't make it. Get you next time, homie. You know what? Hopefully, we actually should be going to one of his shows to do some filming. Maybe actually, even talk with the man. Next, couple, next week or so. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it, well, of course, we'll send uh, shoot some video of that, get some uh, behind the scenes, you know, like VIP members. Yeah, from the audience looking at the stage, <laughs> VIP, VIP, right. because right. we're going to film it. Because <laughs> that's how we roll. <laughs> that's how we do it. Uh, any last remarks for the uh, show? If any scouting team, hey, we're looking. <laughs> Make sure you check out Darth Clark for sure. <laughs> Posting some videos, which you will do Yep. soon. Hopefully. I just need to post some videos from my Gears of War play. I just don't have the means of doing it right now. But. I wish I could just give that one thing, but you need the, you know, the stuff. I need to... the power behind it. That's what I need. Power. But no, that hopefully that'll happen soon. Uh, my Gears of War gameplay has been really, really good lately. I think I'm actually going to try to compete. That'd be a good thing to add to uh, Gears of War is, uh, you know, how Black Ops has their YouTube connection. Mm-hmm. Do that with. Well, I think they have a connection with YouTube. That's why there's a contract they've signed with YouTube I'm, to get. I'm sure because <laughs> it used to be Facebook. Remember, I used to post all my videos straight to Facebook. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> burp and burp and burp. <laughs> Mongo, we miss you. Mm-hmm. You know, we're always uh, gonna you know miss you when you're not on the show, and uh, we wish you were here. Wish you were here, bro. But we know it's for a good cause. Practice, bro. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Anyway, that's it from the main cave. My name's Arth Quag to my right. Ravenous Flamingo. And that's it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go play some Oh, games. wait. Oh. Yeah, wait a quick second. Why are we taking shots? Right? <laughs> Pinky out. Of course. What are you? Mm. All right. Now you can leave. Peachy. Get out of here. <laughs> You're still here. You're just, why are you here? Go. Go do something. Play outside. God. Watch this, then play, and come back and watch the next episode, and then go play again. Bye.